We're back. You're watching the Jersey City Show. I'm here. You're there. That's all we need. Me and you. Whether it's on television, on the internet. Are you one of those people that watch these things on your cell phone? Who would watch anything on a little cell phone? But you see it all the time now. I don't know. It's hard to tell if they're texting or they're listening to music or they're watching movies or TVs on a little screen. There's a reason I have like a 55-inch TV at home. The reason we have these big 60-inch monitors here. But that matter, we're getting another monitor. Be about 70 inch. We'll be all the sets will have these monitors in them. But let's get to the matter at hand, which is the city of Jersey City. Our new councilwoman from Ward E, Candace Osborne, has come up with an amazing idea to improve pedestrian safety in downtown Jersey City. Now I assume there's been tons of accidents down there. You know, pedestrians are getting smashed into by cars and buses. The light rail must be dangerous down there. What Candy is suggesting we do is uh, reformulate some unspent bond money. Amazes me we have any unspent money because we're so broke here. Uh, and she wants to install, and this will be at 80 intersections, by the way. She wants to install, you know those cute little yield signs, the stop sign if someone's in the crosswalk. You see them in some of the smaller um, towns and boroughs here in Hudson County. You'll see them in uh, North Bergen. Nick Sacco has them all over. Uh, she wants to put them in downtown Jersey City. One of the more interesting suggestions is desynchronizing the traffic lights. Now, she's talking a particular Grand Avenue, but if you're going to do 80 intersections, you're talking more than Grand Avenue then. Desynchronizing the, the traffic lights. The reason they are synchronized is the idea is that you can travel at 25 miles an hour and theoretically not hit any red lights if you get your timing right. She wants to desynchronize them. On the advice of some random police officer that mentioned to her, you know, if you desynchronize these lights, it will slow people down. Well, no, sh no crap. If I was sure this show was going to be just on the internet, I would have used the other terminology. No kidding. If you desynchronize them, it's going to slow things up. Yes, it's called gridlock then. But this is Candace's idea. Now, of course, there's some cop mentioned this to her. You know, do we have, do we have a study? This, did she present a study? Of course not. Just proper idea. We're going to, and the other thing is the new crosswalks. You remember the crosswalks you and I grew up with? They're still around. You got the two lines. You know, you stay within the two lines when you're crossing. Cross at the corner, you know. Those aren't any good anymore. Again, I don't know how the hell we made it to this point in our lives without these other uh, amazing discoveries. So instead of painting the two lines, which, by the way, is cheaper than the new ones where they have those big white blocks, you know, it looks like something. For some reason, I'm thinking the Abbey Road. I guess maybe in England they had the big white blocks. For some reason, I'm thinking the Abbey Road cover. But you see them all through the city now, uh, big white blocks painted in the crosswalks. It's not like there's any, you know, uh, force field in there stopping any car from hitting you just that we're spending more money on crosswalk painting when all the years we had those two little lines, they seemed to work pretty freaking good. I made it, you made it. I don't know how we were so lucky because we had synchronized lights and we didn't have those yield signs. We kind of knew how to cross the street. But see, that's one of the freaking problems we have now. People don't know how to cross the street. Remember I talked about watching uh, movies on your cell phone? People are out there texting. They're, they're, they're immersed in their cell phones. They'll walk right out in traffic. That, you know, maybe you should put some cell phone blocking signals up there. But uh, it's amazing she comes up with these things. I, I realize the intent is good. But the application would be horrible. You know, are there, were there tons of accidents? I didn't hear about any tons of accidents. Uh, you know, are people crossing properly? F no. Nobody crosses the streets properly. and Nobody's crossing at the green and not in between. That's, we don't do that. I, you know, I, I should probably go down there with a camera and a tripod and just hang out in downtown and see just how many people are jaywalking. Maybe Candy can explain to me. Maybe we should put, like, railings on the sidewalks. Force people to the crosswalk. That's it. 
put railings along the sidewalks so you can only cross at the uh, crosswalk. People would be so much safer. You got to use some freaking common sense here. And the other thing, she says she spoke to the engineering department at DPW and uh, they were okay with a lot of these ideas. What? She spoke to someone at DPW? I didn't know the council people were allowed to. Phillips got everybody gagged. We can't talk to anybody department-wise anymore. Even the council people can't talk to department people. I think Steve's gagged himself because I haven't talked to him in a couple of three days. You know, we do have these shows we got to do. Um, but maybe she knows somebody at DPW. We all do, but they're, tell they're telling me apparently we can't talk. Can't, we can't talk. But I tell you what is happening. We're getting a lot of interesting emails from city employees. So uh, we're, we're going to have to start looking into a few things. You know, Candy's talking about all these improvements for pedestrian safety. I have a 22-second green light at the intersection of Central Avenue and Bower Street. 22 seconds. Then it goes red for like three minutes or so, letting traffic go on Bower Street uh, west. One-way street coming up from Palisades on Bower, going west. It's like three-minute green light there. Central Avenue, main drag, 22-second green. Gridlock. But this, you know, it's astonishing. The idea is trying to move people along. And I don't want to kid anybody, but we're Jersey City people. We drive. The idea is to move us along, create parking. If you're worried about pedestrians, I guarantee you the pedestrians are their own worst enemies down there. But I, mean, I think I will take a camera, hang out a little bit in downtown, just do some filming on how people cross the street. And I guarantee you the problem is the people. And if you're going to step in front of a car, you do that at your own risk. But, you know, maybe let's get ridiculous because we're, we're a nanny city now. We, we, common sense doesn't prevail. We, if you can't cross the street, we got to make it so that you can only cross one way. So let's put railings along the sidewalk so it forces you only into the crosswalk. And, yeah, let's have some huge blocks. And let's have some more information in the street. Slow down, 25 miles an hour, arrows. You know, you know how the hell did we make it? I don't know how we made it here without all these precautions we take now. The only thing we don't take now is common sense precautions. Nobody uses any. If you're going to be so immersed in your friggin' cell phone and somebody hits you, you know who's going to be in trouble with me. And it's the same thing with the bikes. We're going to put bikes out there too. We're going to break for commercial. You're watching the Jersey City Show. We'll be right back.